Hi cuties! I hope you guys are doing so well. So today I am going to be putting purple in my hair. I feel like it's become kind of a cycle. I dye my hair pink and then when I get tired of the pink I say I'm gonna go to a darker color that matches more of my natural hair color while I grow out my natural hair so that it can be a little healthier and then I end up going to purple. Somewhere along the road I end up going back to pink and frying my hair again. But Hopefully this time I'm gonna break the cycle because I really do just want to try to get my hair to a You know, what? I'm, not even, I'm not even gonna go there I'm not gonna think that far ahead because I know my plans will probably change anyway I'm gonna be putting Lunar Tides smoky purple in my hair because this is the color that it was on the listing And I really like that color. So I really hope that's the color it comes out today But before I go back completely to purple I have like some pink dye that I want to use up because I don't really want it to go to waste So I have this cotton and candy pink overtone conditioner and then I have this ion semi-permanent brights flamingo and I want to use these up before going back to purple so I decided I'm gonna do split dye today I've always wondered what split dye would look like on my hair so I'm going to do half purple half pink the first time I've ever done split dye we're doing it today Let's get into it. My hair is looking quite poofy because I did just shampoo it, which you should always do before dyeing your hair with like semi-permanent color if you want the best results. But I'm just going to do my best to split it straight down the middle. I definitely don't know what's happening in the back. Also, like, do you see these? <laughs> do you see this breakage? Yeah, this breakage is kind of my sign to like chill out with the bleaching and by putting purple in my hair or like going to a really dark purple color Color. I'm hoping that if I do want to like just keep my whole head purple I can transition to using just like permanent purple color on my roots instead of having to bleach them every time Because yeah in my last video where I bleached my hair and like used overtone hair color You guys some of you were recommending that I should switch to a color that's closer to my natural hair color And I think I agree with you guys so that's what we're doing I need someone to help me um make sure that this is like an even split down my head so I'll be right back I need your help. I need you to help me split my hair down the middle. You <laughs> take this comb and you just make an even split down, down the middle. You just have to like split my hair in half evenly. Mm -hmm. Like see how I'm doing it at the front like this? You just kind of, you know, it's just important that it's even because it's a split dye. Like this isn't even even. That's not even the middle of my, hold up. <laughs> okay, I feel like that's, I feel like that's the middle. Okay, so now just continue this line down the back of my head. <laughs> I'm definitely not doing a straight line. Oh so. my god, okay. Okay. No, I'm, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm, just like you don't have to do such small segments. Just like kind of put it down and split the hair, you know? It's just uh <laughs> not hair back here. I mean yeah. <laughs> It's not straight. I feel like it's different. It's different than the top of your head. Like up here it can part, but like. Okay. You need me to get my mom. Because this part might just be easiest for my mom to do. And then you can help me with that. So dyeing it once it's like evenly split. I feel like the splitting it evenly is the very important part. From the top. No, I mean, yeah, we're making progress. Look at that. You did it? Right down your spine. I'd say that's pretty accurate. I trust. I can, like, I see the brown right here. Mm -hmm. and it just follows a straight line, like, down your head. Perfect. Then that's good. Thanks. Okay. Can just go double check. Oh my god. <laughs> Someone. <laughs> You don't trust your abilities? Okay, let me ask my mom. I mean, I think it looks fine. But... It looks probably good. I think it's a pretty straight line. I had my mom check. My mom is pretty good about these things. She's pretty precise. So now I have to decide, am I gonna put purple on this side or this side? I think purple should be on this side. Okay, we're starting with the purple. Smoky purple. Oh, I should probably put my gloves on because I don't really want my hands and nails to be stained forever. Oh, I'm going to do a new set of nails tomorrow or the next day. It's on standby. 
Bro, I don't understand why they make these so hard to open. Yo, I don't know if this is gonna look good as a split dye with this color. Because eventually when this washes out, um, once there's purple in my hair, there's kind of no going back without frying my hair. Because purple is really hard to get out. After the split dye fades and I'm no longer liking the split dye, I'm eventually just gonna go full purple. It's really hard to get the rest of that stuff out. So be really careful not to get any purple on this side. Because if I get purple on this side, the pink is lighter, so the pink isn't going to cover it, and then it's going to be ruined. This is the most important part, which is why I'm going to need help with the back. Okay, that wasn't very special. There's no going back. I'm going purple. It looks like a grapey purple. Ooh, I actually like this. Like this line. Can you just do that straight line down the back? I believe in you. Your services are no longer needed at the moment. At the moment. I'm gonna need you again when I do the pink side. So, do you wanna keep helping me? Because now I just have to fill in all of this with purple. Nice. Thanks. Now you can just slap it on. I originally bought like three of these little pots of this stuff for my whole hair, but I feel like we're gonna need two just for like one half of my hair. Yeah, I kinda just gotta like start putting it in there like that. This is not my favorite smell of hair dye, not gonna lie. I like the minty smell better. What does this smell like? I feel like it smells like cat litter. Grabbing it yeah, I'm just grabbing it with my hands. Your mom just sent a text message that said, I think Buddy lost his bed. And I bet it was followed with by a picture of Junie laying on Buddy's bed. Yeah. <laughs> Do you need to open another one? Yeah, we do. I don't understand why they have to put a plastic wrap on it and that other seal. Okay, there's no, there's no avoiding it. Definitely does not taste any better than it smells. Bro, I don't understand. Okay, do you want to just open this for me and then I can you can take your gloves off and I'll do the rest of this color by myself and then you can come back and help me with the pink. Thanks. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Wash your hands off. And I dye your beard hairs. <laughs> you did it. No, it's on your nose now. Okay, yeah, you can leave. That's good. Sorry. Thanks. Yeah, see, I feel like there's a lot of areas under there that I'm, like, afraid to do because I don't want to get it on the pink side, but yeah. This way, doing the split dye, I can really see what I prefer. The dark purple or the pink. It'll be half and half. And there's no really going back because I'm not going to fry my hair to get the purple out to go back to pink, but at least I'll know. At least I will know. This color is so perfect for spooky season. The nice thing about this one is it is very easy to saturate through your hair. This stuff is potent. It literally stained my skin in like seconds. I'm gonna use whatever's left of this overtone pink conditioner, which is like super, super light. <laughs> it's so satisfying. <laughs> I 
I like just bought this conditioner. I haven't even had a chance to like use it very much. I don't want it to all go to waste because I'm going to purple. That's a super pretty color if you're looking for a pretty pastel pink color. But anyway, I'm going to add this semi-permanent ion bright flamingo color because it's a bit darker. And then I'm gonna mix them up. Here's the pink shade. Really hope that these look semi-decent next to each other. <laughs> okay, changing up the gloves. I don't want any purple anywhere. I'm gonna take this down. I'll just do this whole side by myself and then at the end before I'm done I'll ask you if it looks good. Did you want to act like it closer? You could put it like on the brown part too just to make sure you know. Yeah. Thank you. having doubts about whether this pink looks great with this specific shade of purple because honestly when I picked this shade of purple I was planning on covering my whole head with it wasn't really planning to do a split dye when I picked this shade of purple but I was like you know what I might as well because I've always wondered what a purple pink split dye would look like and this definitely seems like the opportunity to do so so we're doing it to say that Redken like extreme length conditioner and shampoo that I've been using I think it's definitely helping I've also been using an Olaplex bonding oil I think it's like bonding oil number seven or something and that's been helping immensely with my hair damage and I also got like a leave-in conditioner it's by Afoji that same brand that does like that protein treatment that's super popular and that a lot of you guys were telling me about so yeah, I've been using a lot of leave-in conditioners and oils and stuff on my hair and I think it's really been helping a lot so yeah my hair has definitely improved a lot since that video where i was freaking out about it a little bit this is one of the reasons i decided to put a very dark purple color into my hair because i'm a little bit tired of freaking out about my hair frying every single time i had to bleach my hair which is about every month and a half so yeah i will no longer be bleaching my hair every month and a half because i will be going to this color eventually <laughs> just looking at it right now i think it's gonna be a really good color i'm gonna like it a lot but yeah i do know that a lot of y'all love the pink and i also love the pink but i think it was time for a change just it was time for a change i really can only go six months at most with my hair looking the same you know i feel like this hair is really like karomi my melody vibes which i am really liking i feel like there are definitely spots though that i missed i don't know if i trust how well the area is super Super close by my like parting line are done. Is there any obvious spot? I mean, you definitely need more back here to get the blonde, but. Okay, Can, do you mind adding it? There's only like a tiny bit left, so maybe just like use this. Thanks. Yeah, it's good then. All right, so. 
it's on. I am going to let this sit and saturate for a very, very long time because the more that this purple side sits for and saturates, the less that it's going to bleed when I rinse it out. And I don't want the bleeding from this side, which is very dark, to affect the color of the pink. So I'm going to wait for like literally as long as I can possibly wait without getting like really impatient, which is probably going to be about like an hour and 20 minutes or something like that. And then I'm going to rinse it out with very cold water, like as cold as I can get the water to be. And then I will be back to show you guys the final results. See you then. Okay, so it's actually been about two hours at this point since I finished putting this hair dye in my hair. And I just want to show you guys, this is how I can tell that it's ready to be washed out is because when I go like this, the product that comes off on my fingers is like almost clear. Do you see that? Like that is not a dark purple at all. And like same thing with this side with the pink. It's a very, very light color. So when I rinse it out with cold water, it should not bleed. And all of the color should be saturated into my hair as much as it is going to be at this point. Like two hours is definitely probably too long to wait, but you know, it's not gonna hurt my hair. It's basically just colored conditioner. I'm gonna hop in the shower and rinse this stuff out with a very cold water. And I'm gonna try to do like one side at a time, probably starting with the darker side so that if it does kind of bleed into the pink side, the conditioner that is already in this side will kind of like create a barrier for this not to stain this side. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna rinse it out now. I look like I have a little sprout growing out of the top of my head, like those, you know, like those cute little cartoon characters where their hair is like sprouting out because of this breakage. And it's kind of annoying because sometimes it like lays down this way and then I just have like a bunch of purple inside the pink and then it just looks like I messed up. But anyway, I have a hair dyeing shirt on again because I'm not really happy with the saturation of this pink. I feel like it needs to be a little brighter and a little bit more vibrant, especially in the front in these areas where I don't think I put enough hair dye. And so when I was rinsing out the purple, even though it was rinsing out, literally the water was almost clear. It just had like the slightest tint of like a grayish undertone, but I kind of feel like these front pieces over here got like tinted that color and it just looks looks kind of dingy and I know if I left it here it's fine but I'm not happy with it so what I'm actually gonna do is go over all of the pink with this brighter pink mix up which is mostly this the big pink by bleach London I've used this before and I really liked it it was really bright this color is like literally almost red straight out of the bottle so what I did is I actually had quite a bit of this left in here and I didn't realize it so I added that in there and then I also added some leave-in conditioner in there as well so we're gonna put that on now real quick and then hopefully I'll be happier with it. I am, I'm gonna grab my sister to help me with the application so I can get it straight down the middle again. And we're just gonna speed through this. So wow. you basically just need to help me do like the back. Okay, cuties, here is the finished split dye hair look. I am actually obsessed with it. I feel like the split is really just like straight down the middle. Now I'm feeling like I want to keep this like split dye hair look for a while. And that's kind of stressful because then that means I have to like keep bleaching my roots at least on the pink side. But we'll see what happens. I just didn't really like expect to like it this much. I just feel like looking at my hairline is so satisfying because it's like just a straight split. Like look at that. I love it. I love it so much. I will say that that second layer of pink helped a lot. But 
it also bled so much when I was washing it out. So the, if you are planning on doing like a split dye hair look, the one advice that I can give you, make sure to research a hair dye that does not bleed too much when you wash it out and make sure to like that you can let it sit in your hair for like two hours before you rinse it out because that first round of pink that I did did not bleed like whatsoever but I know that specific brand of like the Bleach London super vibrant pink color I've used it in the past and it bled a lot so I was already expecting that but it wasn't really a big deal because I'm um, dark purple like this is really not going to be affected at all by like whatever little bleeding I got from this side which it wasn't thankfully but yeah if you're doing split dye make sure you use a dye that doesn't bleed a lot especially if you're doing two light colors but thankfully this lunar tides was like super dark and also did not bleed whatsoever when I washed it out which was really great it bled like the teeniest bit that is all I have for you guys in today's video I really hope that you enjoyed it if you did definitely hit that thumbs up button on the way out because it helps me out a lot and I really really appreciate it I love you so much and I hope that you are having the most amazing day night week life cutie sleep well if you are going to sleep and I will hopefully see you in my next one bye